Okay, now we're taking the uh, cabinet out. Uh, it's on some rails there, and if you pull it all the way out, there's some latches underneath. And we're gonna take that out, and then I think there's some screws in here. And uh, we're gonna take that apart. Have to go get some tools though. But as I'm going, I'll show you the table we made. It's a like a simple table that fits in the area in between the beds. And uh, we're going to use this simple platform to fill in the space back there in between the two beds. So I'll go get some tools and we'll get started. Oh, here's the screws. Oh. I think there's one in the back somewhere, they said. Well, we'll start by taking those out. Okay, got to go get tools. Okay, there's a total of four screws, it appears, that uh, holds this cabinet in place. You have the two here, and then you have two in the top, in the back there, that go into that uh, black strip on the back edge. So it's four screws and then this comes right away. And this is what it looks like more or less after the cabinet has been taken out. You have the, the holes where the wires come through for the USB connectors, <coughs> chargers. And I'm not sure what we're gonna do with that. We'll just probably rig it somehow with some tape or something to make sure the wires don't get uh, chafed and that sort of thing. And uh, now we have to uh, Try to put the mattresses down and get the floor in the new base in here so we can measure to see what we need for a middle mattress there. Okay, this is the uh, platform installed to make it one big sleeping area. You can see, uh, you see the one leg there. Uh, I don't know how sturdy that is, but uh, we'll give it a try. See what happens. Have to get some new mattress material there. And uh, what we used, by the way, on that platform was three-quarter inch plywood, and we got the finished stuff so that it would, you know, be a little finer against the mattress and everything. So it's the three-quarter inch. It should hold pretty good. That's about the same thickness as the uh, uh, dinette table, so that should work. Well, we uh, just came back from IKEA. We decided to take out the existing mattresses and get one of these uh, nice foam mattresses from uh, Ikea. This is a king size. This is 79 inches by 79 and a half by 76. We have the 76 running this way and the 79 and a half running this way. So there is room on the sides. We're going to get some big body pillows and stuff them in there. That way, you know, it'll be like the entire thing is one big bed. And this foam, it's like seven and a half inches deep. That, that stuff feels pretty comfortable. Now we just rolled it out. Uh, it comes shrink wrapped. So we were able to get it in, in one shot. And it's a little tight, but we, we got in here okay. And they say you should let it relax for like three or four days for the foam to totally come out of its coil state. So uh, we'll come back then later and show you what else we did with this. But uh, I think we're really gonna like this mattress. It's very comfortable. Okay, here's the completed project. As you can see, we made the little platform as we described earlier, like a little table with four legs. And then we have a king size bed back here. And uh, we got that from Ikea and I think that's gonna really work out nice I think of course the only trouble is climbing in and out but other than that it it's really nice to have a king-size bed I gotta say